guys welcome back to the semi plum bob channel and today we're going to continue on with my jungle adventures and i believe this is part 13 so where we left off is we actually went through another temple and um we had such bad luck in the last part anything that could go wrong went wrong okay that let's just say that and the temple run was not that fun. Um, she kept getting all the answers wrong. And it was just, she luck was not on her side yesterday. But more importantly than that, she actually spotted her father in Selva Dorada in the last part. And when she went to go talk to him, he, of course, he talked to her for like a split second but whenever she mentioned her mother he took off he just left he without even without even it seemed like he didn't even care anymore about the family and that makes um that makes Maya really sad because her father is it just left and he he won't even tell us what he's even doing in Cella Dorada. He's just here and that is sad. Um but the good thing about that is that we learned that her boyfriend really does care about her. He tried to cheer her up many times last night and his efforts of course didn't make her happy, but she appreciated the thought and the in what he did for her last night. So I think she actually picked a really great guy, if you ask me, to date. So it seems like Juan Jose will be here for uh, for the future. I don't think he will leave anytime soon or leave her anytime soon. But the vacation is ending in four hours. So yay. I know Maya is ready to go home and talk to her mother about this and tell her exactly what has um Oh, okay. Happened. So here we are. We're back at home and we got Squee. Where is Shadow? Shadow's over here just munching away at her food. Yay! So here we are at mom and dad's house. I just <laughs> pretty much try to get the vet thing to work and it when it didn't work I just left and decided to come to mom's house why darling took the puppies home. But anyways here we are. We are going to let mama know what daddy did to us. Um, let's tell her. Mom, I gotta let you know. It looks like her brothers are in high school right now, which is fine. He was there, Mom. He was there at the market, and, uh, you know, he, he didn't want to tell me why. He just left when I brought you up, Mom. I don't know why. Her mother is confused, but she's already cried it out. She isn't going to cry again. But Maya is now sad, so she's going to her grandma's urn, and she is thinking about, ever since her grandma and grandpa died, this is where her dad's behavior has gotten off the wall. So, she, she doesn't know what to think about it. Oh, her brother's home. Is both of them? Yay! Osmond and Arcelio is home. Go welcome Osmond home. Oh, I'm so sorry, Maya. Let's welcome Arcelio. <laughs> Hi, Arcelio. Hi, bro. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, she keeps walking in and out, in and out. I think this girl over here has a little crush on Arcelio, but don't quote me on that. She keeps walking out, walking right past him and whatnot, and he keeps looking at her. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe they got a crush on each other. Interesting. But anyways, um... Oh, this is so sad. Mama, I'm going to eat some leftovers, okay? Merkel Zero? Everybody's discussing their father, and 
You know what? I think Ivana misses her husband so much. I mean, after all, he did protect her from, you know, the vampire. And, you know, he was... He seemed like a good guy. And now that he's not here anymore... Uh-huh. She just misses that good guy. And the boys really miss their daddy, too. They're out here Street just guy. talking about him, Scooter and <laughs> and she just wanted to go in. She doesn't want to talk oh, about oh. it anymore. Well, She's just that. ready <laughs> for this to be over, for Talking him to come me. home, for Shavish them to me. not feel so Near bad. Boo. So it looks like they're just having a pleasant what? conversation, saying, well, I could finally sleep yeah, now. I'm not up all night. She's like, well, that's good. It's like, yeah. Oh, for no Sinise, Chorg. Sabino, uh, the music Ilya, helps yeah. me. My mom helps Teresa me. <laughs> so they're just, they're just conversating about what to do next and whatnot. Ooh. But it looks like everybody's going to come over here and Ooh. eat something. Made by Ivana. And this one was made by Ivana. So. It looks like everybody's wanting to eat some cake. And she had Ooh, some big. other stuff. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. um, I want her to come over here and view the sad work. I want you to do that. Oh. Goodbye, Mama oh, and Daddy. Oh. Oh, oh, what in the world? Why is it glitching all of a sudden? Okay, <laughs> um, let's read what this says, actually. Saddened by art, none can deny the power of art so great that it brings a tear to the eye. Aww, so that will last for four hours, and this one will last for two, so. Anyways, um, let's hug our mother goodbye. And now that we've told her what has happened and whatnot, um, they seem to be getting over it and moving forward from it. They don't seem to be dwelling on it for too long, which is good, so. But anyways, we're going to hug Mama, and then we are going home. But also, <laughs> in their embrace, she says, I really want Jeeva. to meet your new <laughs> friend. And <laughs> she's like, yes, Mama. Wamba I will probably boy, bring Yambalala. you sooner than later. So anyways, yeah, we got Hello, something Debishi. to plan. <laughs> we definitely got to bring over Juan Jose <laughs> to meet the family and whatnot. But yeah, we're on our way home, and I'll see you all when we get there. Alright, so we're back at home, and she is sad. Let's actually do a comforting hug with her dog and try to make her feel a little better. Okay. It seems like Shadow has really missed her. Oh, <laughs> uh, where are you at? She's over here just eating. Alright, um... Hearing of Darling's archaeological renown, the Artifact Association is sending over some artifacts and is requesting help in identifying their origins. They are promising a huge financial incentive in return for Darling's help. Okay. Sweet. Uh, so this one must be us. Okay. Um, what are we going to do now? Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to add... Um, I'm going to add her boyfriend on the wall here. Yeah. Well, I don't know if y'all could hear that in the background. But anyways, I'm going to continue to go in, even though that is probably playing in the background, which is fine. But anyways, um, we are going to go ahead and probably end this part a little bit earlier than expected since we did what we wanted to do after all. So anyways, um... Hey, oh, mom decided to come over. Nibahana. My poor I'm baby. Peeny. I wonder why Squee keeps, Peena. you know, being sick after we did all that and junk. So I wish Squee wouldn't keep getting sick after we gave him wellness treats. My goodness. 
But it looks like Mom came over, so let's go ahead and sing a jazz duet with Mama. Yeah. Oh, it looks like Anatolia actually came over, too. That's cool. So come on, Mom. We'll make you feel better. Whips are zame, whips are glam, whoops to Jane. The cloud with nib to flip, who blind. Flip oops a za, glue lips, blies clips I. Werp serves zame, werp serves zame, glam, werps to chain, nib whip, what guy? Jib to lip a queen. Oh, before we went to read the brand. Preservative of morphin, quizzer tib of morphin, preservative of morphin, quizzer tib of morphin. Jib to lip a queen. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. Okay, so now that after they sing and stuff, let's go ahead and... Oh, she's listening. Yay, okay. So let's actually go ahead and hug Aunt Atalia and see how she's doing. <laughs> And go ahead and have her use the restroom, get their needs up. But it looks like they may just go to bed early. They are happy that, um, they are happy about, um, what am I trying to say? She is happy about her aunt and mother coming over and helping her out and making her feel better and making her feel loved because well dang they're in an airplane okay so uh, it's making her feel better since her father apparently doesn't want to be a part of this place uh, ask to go potty tell the dog to go potty if you need to go you tore the Melvoin? She's got a point. Go figure out what's wrong Apollo with this dog. Uh -huh. Keeps vomiting. Mm. <laughs> ah. I don't know what to do about this dog. The veterinarian place won't even work. I don't even know why this dog is still sick. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and send everyone to bed. And we're going to call this a part because it's getting a little bit too loud to actually continue on and play a little bit more. But anyways, since she gets in bed, we'll stop this part. All right. Okay, um, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this part, and I'll see you in the next one. Everybody have a great day.